Hello Guitar Geeks, my name's Andy and welcome to part three of my guide on how to get the most out of your Blackstar ID Core V3. Today we're looking at the live streaming capabilities. Here we go. Live streaming has become essential in the past 12 months if you're an artist, a YouTuber, somebody has some message to get out there, or if you just want to have some fun playing guitar. And I watch Instagram, I watch YouTube of live streams, I watch TikTok, and some of the audio quality that I hear on there is less than ideal, which I guess is fine, but I've been searching for ways to get a better audio quality, and uh, especially with Instagram, getting stuff into my phone can be a pain in the neck. With the ID Core V3 series of amps, you can pipe the audio directly from the amp down a cable into your phone and live stream with top-notch quality. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do is connect your amp to the phone. And to do that, you need one of these, a TRRS cable. So not a standard stereo cable, that is a TRS. This is a TRRS with two Rs. If you're on Android, good news, that is all you need, the TRRS cable. If you're using iOS and you don't have a headphone port, you need to get one of the official Apple adapters. Um, I have an unofficial Apple adapter, that didn't work. This is an official Apple one, this does work. Good news for everybody, if you don't have either of these items and you need to buy them, there are some links in the video descriptions. These are affiliate links, so I do get a small kickback at no extra cost to you. Thank you. I have the iPhone XS Max, so I need that little iOS adapter. But firstly, I'm gonna plug the TRRS cable into the correct port of the ID Core V3. If you look on top of the amp, there are two sockets in which this cable would fit. Don't plug it in the headphone socket, you're looking for the line in live streaming socket. That's kind of it. That's all you need to do is plug your phone in and you can now directly live stream to Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you live stream, people will hear the audio only coming from your amp with whichever preset you set or you can change the presets as you're live streaming. Note that I said they'll hear the audio from your amp, meaning you cannot talk to the people. They will not hear what you're saying. I put this to the test and I recently live streamed on Instagram and if you want to follow me on Instagram there's my, my handle on screen now. Do people still say handle? That's my, my Instagram username. Um, I found it kind of annoying and kind of frustrating that you couldn't speak to the people but I also found out that at least with the iOS device whilst you're live streaming on Instagram at least you can unplug the dongle, don't just unplug the TRRS cable and then people can hear you through the internal mic on the phone and then plug it back in again and after a second or so the amp will send its signal back to Instagram and if you want to talk you just unplug it again and then when you're ready to play guitar plug it back in and off goes the guitar again. That's what happened the first time just me playing guitar and talking and then I tried loading up some backing tracks on Spotify playing that backing track in Spotify in the background and then live streaming and it worked. So I was live streaming with, a, uh, with an A minor blues track and then me playing over top of it. And the people watching, thanks to the people that watched that by the way, thank you for being my guinea pigs. The people watching said the audio quality was great, very listenable, the balance was f fantastic. And notably, you can turn the amp as loud or as quiet as you want it. And the volume of the live stream is not affected by what you do on the panel of the amp. So when I turned the amp up to get a little bit of feedback or, and messing around doing some rock, it didn't overload the phone in any way. And to the people watching the live stream, I hadn't done anything. That was really, really cool. The backing track thing is not Spotify specific. You can run any audio in the background and that audio will come through the speaker of the amp and also be streamed to your live stream. So you could run something from your Dropbox, from Google Drive, from GarageBand if you've recorded something or you've dropped something in there and play along with it. The sound will come out of that speaker and go into your live stream. I think it's absolutely brilliant. You can also use this connection for recording directly to a DAW on your phone or to a voice memo app. So you can use GarageBand or Cubasis or just the built-in voice memos to get high quality demos. That's very useful. A very cool feature is loading up the camera app and then recording a video, it'll take the audio from the amp and use the video from your camera on your phone, which you can then trim, edit, and splice around and, and cut into your best highlights, and then share that on social media with high quality audio. Or you could just send it to your parents to hope that they're proud of you.
If you found this video useful, it would be great if you left me a like and comment down below uh, anything you record. I'd be interested to see what you record. You can leave a link down there. Speaking of recording, I've got another video on how to record from the amp to your Mac or PC and a whole guide on how to use the Architect software for the deep editing of the patches. Go and have some fun. I hope you make some great music and I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.